My name is Foxy and I have no life. I sit in my mommy's kitchen. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the perk that I feel like is under the radar i would that's the word i would look for i don't know if it's underrated because i don't really think i would personally use this over flak jacket or tack mask but i did watch a video recently from exclusive ace talking about the ford intel perk and i watched this video after one of you guys in the chat told me about this perk i didn't even know this existed until one of you said something about it so thank you i can't remember who it was but thank you for letting me know about this perk and we're going to cover this because i think that this is super under the radar and not enough people are talking about it this perk can be super useful if you're a brand new player and you're trying to learn the spawns on each map or anything like that or trying to get a feel of reading the mini map so i hope you guys do enjoy this if you guys do and you guys don't mind leaving a like down below subscribe turn on notifications go watch yesterday's video on the magnums nuclear that i got if you guys want me to cover other under the radar or underrated things that are in this game let me know down in the comments we're gonna have some fun playing some multiplayer have funny moments all that good jazz so without further ado let's go bros okay so before we get into like all the funny moments in gameplay and things like that of me actually using this perk i want to show you guys the mini map up at the top left i'm running the ford intel perk right now and we're on crossroads this is probably the smallest map in the game next to nuketown which is coming in on tuesday if you go to this part of the map right here you can see the entire map spawns in all for crossroads okay so here's the mini map without forward intel like i said it's under the radar but let's hop into some gameplay and i'll show you guys how i use it in multiplayer so if you guys notice my mini map up at the top left you guys will see how much how much nicer it is and how much more you can see that's because forward intel gives you a 60 percent increase of your mini map vision i mean honestly if you're really good and you know spawns and you know how to work spawns and things like that it's gonna be really good and really useful for you and it's really useful for people who are trying to learn the spawns in this game even though they don't really flip or anything like that. I mean, like, let's be real. Like, how often do the spawns flip in this game? Let's be let's be honest. Let's be honest here. In addition to the 60% increase of your mini-map, you also see whenever someone spawns. So, watch. You guys are going to see up in the top left someone spawning in when it pings. Yeah, it's not just because I have a UAV up. It's also because I have forward intel on. My team is completely destroying this team. I think this is super useful for people who are trying to learn the spawns. However... I don't know if I would always run this perk over Flak Jacket and Tack Mask. Flak Jacket and Tack Mask are just way too good and useful right now. And they're just the most used perks in the perk one category. So to be honest, I don't run this all the time. But when we ran it the other night, I was like, yo, this thing is crazy. You can see so much on Crossroads. You can see the entire map when you're at mid. That's how insane it is. Oh, there's another guy. If you guys are wondering why I'm not playing Super Sweats, it's because I've been doing launcher camos. So that means my lobbies are they're not that great of players because I've been dying a lot and I've been trying to get these launcher camos done and things like that. Good lord, dude. Dude, we're 21 and 2. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Look at all the levels that are in my game. That's pretty lame. Sorry. I forget that because I'm doing launcher cameras and things like that, my lobbies are going to be a little bit easier because of skill-based matchmaking. So if you guys are thinking like, oh, he's reverse boosting, like, no, that's not what I'm doing. It's just I've been going for launcher camos all the time, so I'm dying a lot, and it's throwing me in lobbies with less skilled players because skill-based matchmaking is a thing, and it's looking at my stats from the previous games, and now I'm actually using a red gun, so I'm sure the game after this will be an absolute nutcase and I'll have kids jumping around the corner shooting at me and things like that. I think this is an absolutely nuts perk though. And I've never thought this would ever be a perk in Call of Duty because, you know, learning the mini maps and spawns and things like that, that's, that, that takes like a lot of skill in Call of Duty. Not all players think, oh, I should probably learn the spawns and know where you know, people are spawning and things like that and, and seeing what, what my surroundings are and things like that. Like people just don't think that way, at least for a casual audience, at least in my opinion. Nope. So do you guys see how they all spawned in up on the mini map? They're all spawning in and like you can't really see where they're spawning at the moment. You just see the red marker pop up. But if I moved in closer, then you guys would be able to see it. Watch. If I move this way. I'm 
I'm on a 20 at the moment, so I'm kind of nervous. I think the kid at the end of the hallway has a sniper, but there's a kid with the MP5 right here. I'm waiting for him to push out. Yeah, there he is. Oh, and I died. Damn, good kill. But yeah, man, that's pretty much just the gist of this perk. I kind of wanted to do a commentary and do some funny moments and things like that, but I don't really know if that's going to be the case. No, stop sniping me. Stop sniping me. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, this is a less experienced lobby. We just went on like a 21, I think, though, which is kind of nice. I can see why people reverse boost now because like the lobbies are way easier. Like, and, and you don't have to stress about it. Like, I'm literally just talking casually and playing and stuff like that. It feels like it's a game without skill based matchmaking in it, but we all know that there is in this game. So these kids are clueless. Like, these kids don't know. We're 33 and 4. I'm sure that I will, uh, I will get thrown in a crazy ass lobby after this. So I feel really bad because it does, it really does look like I'm reverse boosting just to say like, oh, look at how crazy this perk is or whatever. And it's like, no, that's not the case. It's just my lobbies are really bad because I've been going for rocket kills and stuff like that. Uh, Bruh. My name is Foxy and I have no life. I stand in my mommy's coach and either <laughs> I guess this is a good way to look at it. We looked at it on Garrison, which is a really small map. And now we're going to look at this perk on a really big map, which is satellite. And I hate satellite, but this is actually pretty good for the video. So I'm not going to really trip about it. Um, Okay, so there's two guys up there. He's going to die. Yep, he's dead. Bonds are pretty screwed in, in, in this mode, but... uh. Oh boy. Okay, so it shows me, is it, show me the two guys that were back there. I don't, I can't tell because it's not really showing me where they're spawning now. We have, we have the perk one, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. I don't know if it's just like sometimes or if you get on a gun streak and it doesn't let you. I don't, I don't really know to be honest. Oh god, oh god, oh, okay, okay. All right, well, at least I'm dying a little bit more in this mode than I was in the previous one because the only reason I asked about if it's only in during certain times is because when I was killing those guys, they weren't showing... Oh, I, oh, I choked that so hard, dude. Oh my lord. Do any of you guys use this perk? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you guys didn't check out yesterday's video, make sure you guys go check out my nuclear with the magnums. We did drop a nuclear, my first ever nuclear ever in the history of Call of Duty with the magnums because they're just absolutely nuts. They're broken to shit. <laughs> now, there's one perk that counters this, and I'm surprised it's not Ghost, because you would think, oh, if someone shows up on a mini-map, it's definitely Ghost, right? No, it's not Ghost. The counter to this is Spycraft, but the problem with that is you have Ghost, Cold-Blooded, Ninja, and Spycraft all in the same perk category. So, no one's really gonna run Spycraft. That's the only thing I don't understand, because no one's gonna wanna sacrifice Ghost or Cold-Blooded. It's just not gonna happen, in my opinion. Personally, I probably won't run this, because I'm probably gonna end up running Tack Mask and Flak Jacket. We're gonna Flak it the jacket. You know, we probably could've taken out two right there. Dude, I can't hit with this RPG. It's so annoying, bro. Come on. Nope. It missed? Bro, what? Yo, I'm gonna... I'm... Bro, I'm... I'm so over this. Can't hit any spy plane with this RPG to save my life. Get there. It missed? 